order, honorable members, I also wish to announce that I have received the resignation letter from the President of the Republic. <laughs> honorable members, the letter will be published in the ATC. Uh, the House will now proceed to the election of the new President of the Republic of South Africa. The Constitution Honorable requires Speaker. the Chief Justice Honorable to Speaker. preside over the election. Honorable Speaker. I now invite Honorable the Chief Speaker. Justice to... No, you're out of Chair. order, Speaker. Speaker. You're out of order. No, 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 no. You are starting on a wrong footing, Speaker. On a point of order, Speaker. You can't call Chief Justice when there is a person on the floor. You are but setting up Chief Justice for please. failure. Please. Order, honorable members. When the Speaker was on the floor, no one else could be on the floor. But to raise to... Honorable members, to call for your attention. Section 50 of the Constitution. We're calling for your attention, Speaker. Honorable member, I'm talking. But we're calling for your Can attention. Can you allow me to finish talking? And please note the immediately Section 50 that. of the Constitution permits any member to propose that the National Assembly be dissolved. But such a proposal must take the form of a draft resolution a motion of which prior notice must be given and which must be duly programmed in accordance with the rules of the House. I am aware that such a motion has been submitted, but it is not on the order paper for discussion today. Members will be aware that these matters are discussed in the program committee, which met today and yesterday. Rather, the Chief Justice has convened the sitting today for the purposes of electing the President. In the light of this, I must accordingly order that we proceed with the business of the day as it appears on the order paper. Speaker, Honorable Speaker. Well, yes, well, Honorable Shibamu. I uh, want to, to beg your indulgence. You are preempting things that were not rising here to raise. You have indicated that Mr. Jacob Zuma has resigned and we're making a proposal that as political parties, we should be given a minute or two to respond to his resignation, to make remarks that we note his resignation so that all of us here in parliament express a statement in terms of what has happened. So that is the proposal that we had made, but because you had preempted us you thought we're going to raise the issue that you have responded to now. That is the second part of what we're going to deal with. Now we're dealing with the issue of the resignation. May we please be allowed to respond to that? Honorable Shibambu, this morning you were represented in the joint program committee. You were also represented in yesterday afternoon's National Assembly pro program committee. Those matters were not raised by your representatives. And so it has been agreed in the structures of, of the Joint Program Committee and the National Assembly Program Committee. And today's business is about the election of the President. And therefore, honorable members, I now But proceed. Speaker, when we raise our hands, or oh Dali, you don't recognize us. And the next thing when we stand up to speak here, you're going to be complaining. We are raising our red. Wait, Lindy, we know you are singing for Sapa. Wait, man. Please, Speaker. Honorable Malema. Ramaphosa has recognized you a long time ago. Don't worry. <laughs> Speaker, we think that we are not in a correct position to elect the president. Because constitutional court has made certain findings against this parliament. And therefore, an illegitimate parliament which has violated the constitution and did not execute its responsibilities cannot be the one that elects amongst itself 
a person who is accused of the same things because when the constitutional court says we failed as parliament to execute our responsibility they include all of us here and therefore no one should emerge from amongst us to stand for position of a, a president we strongly feel that we must dissolve the fifth parliament then go to the elections and if Honorary people are Malema, not scared, you are out of order. If people are not scared, let's go to the elections. The I've already ruled let's not on make that some elite packed arrangement here. Honorable Malema, let the masses of South Africa seat. choose their president and not some elite which meets here Honorable and Malema. choose president amongst themselves. Honorable, Honorable Malema, Speaker, take your seat. If, we ins if you insist on proceeding with the election of the president, you are engaged in an unconstitutional process which will be later challenged. This one was a oh, oh, this one. They were doing Malema, the same thing when we were telling them about Honorable this Honorable Malema, one. I've asked they are you again and it. again to take your seat. As I've said, Madam Speaker. that issue must be raised in the form of a properly constituted motion. And I'm not allowing members to abuse this sitting. I'm really pleading with you, Honorable Gadi, please take your seat. Madam Speaker, on a different matter, you will recall that the Chief Whip stood up and requested that KTC demands that each leader of a political party respond to the announcement that we have made of a resolution. Secondly, the resignation letter is not published in the ATC. We request at least a take. It was not there in the morning. Can you read it for us, Madam Speaker? Because we don't trust that man at all. You can't even trust him in his, in his grave, that one. So just read for us Honorable that letter. Gadi, the Honorable, letter. Honorable Gadi, there's still going to be a debate you will be able to express yourself as broadly as possible on major issues that you want to express about the resignation and the seating and the cho choice of a new president. Speaker. I really Speaker, order. appeal to you, honorable members. Speaker, even to, on the, this morning, I even ask you, which, where is the letter from Zuma? I announced that we have received the no, letter. No, no, Speaker, because now it, it, it must be on record. ATC. Can we see the letter? Can you read the letter to us and to the nation? We want to see the letter, Speaker, and give each and every political party to speak on that letter, Speaker. Don't rush things. Honorable Shengiwe Mkalipi, please cooperate with the chair. Please, speaker. honorable members of speaker. the EFF, cooperate with the chair. We just want to put it on record, Speaker that we cannot be part of an illegitimate, illegal process. And Mr. Ramaphosa, things like Lindiwe Zulu, if you listen to them, you must ask the one who came before you. He listens to ill advice from illiterates, like things like this. Hambani, yes. you may call us illiterate, Pumani. Hambani, yes. Mabaha Mbevele. And they call me illiterate when they are the ones who are illiterate. Ah, so I don't know where I'm so proud of my talent member. Tula Lindwe, Tula. Bye, Ginger. Lindy, we're actually in the conference. Tula. Gay Gusabai Minister. Tula. Oh, Goropa.